All right, we're here inside the Roy Jones Junior Fight Academy with the Lee brothers, man. And, yes, uh, sir. Got the more talented, a lot prettier, better looking one out here, Keith. And then we got Kevin over here. More experienced. More that's, experienced. That's what it more is. Seasoned, I'd rather right? be pretty. Yeah. I'd rather be pretty. <laughs> All right, well, Kevin, we most people know you already. UFC fighter. Ten, you're going to be fighting for title, hopefully real soon. Yep. But tell us about your brother right here. He's getting ready to make his amateur debut. Yeah, you know, he's following up footsteps. You know, he, he wrestled throughout high school and a little bit in college. Uh, you know, was all state, did real well, and now he's uh, now he's out here whooping ass. All right, well, Keith, you're making your debut as we said, amateur debut out here, toughing up this weekend. Uh, little jitters going in this fight, first time. Got to be a little bit nervous, right? Nah, nah. I'm gonna go out there and do what I usually do. Go out there, relax. It doesn't matter when I'm fighting. I'm gonna go out there and do my fight regardless. You know? How did you get started? Did he bring you into it? Or? He, he brought me into it the whole way. I followed by him since I was little. I used to wrestle. At first, he started wrestling, so I just wanted to wrestle just to be like him ever since then. Kevin, what do you think about, uh, what are his strengths in the, in, the, in the cage and what does he need to work out? Keith is a very, he's a very good athlete. He picks up on stuff like really, really well. He, he's a better athlete than most of, most of the guys fighting, I think. Uh, not only that, but uh, you know, his size too. He's a 125er and, and damn near as tall as me. You know, he has a, he has a length on me, you know. Uh, you know, I think he's gonna have the length on a lot of guys, especially guys that are like five foot three, five foot four. Uh, you know, he's gonna be able to use that range, and he can wrestle uh, really well. So, I think he's one of the best wrestlers in the country. Not in the same weight class, but you guys are related, so I know you had the guy there scrapped a little bit. Yeah. How does that go? It don't, it don't work. It, it don't, don't work. It don't work, it don't work out. <laughs> I, I mean, come on, come, on. come on, each other. come on. I taught him you everything want, he knows. Come on, these problems. I, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I know what he's gonna do before he can do it. You know. Well, this is his first fight going in. How's it gonna be as a big brother? You gonna be a uh, Nervous for more nervous than you for your own fight, or how? yeah, yeah. In general, uh, he had a Muay Thai fight a few months ago over at One Kick Nick Jim. Uh, he fought somebody from One Kick Nick, and uh, you know I cornered him for that fight, and that was my first time uh, cornering him. But he handled it so well, so uh, you know that was his first fight, and uh, he got it done. So now this is his first MMA fight, and uh, you know I'm more than confident. I'm more confident for this than the kickboxing fight, to be honest. And then Keith, you know you're obviously setting out to, to do your own thing and make your own mark. But how great is it having a brother that's an accomplished as him to be able to learn from and draw from? Oh man, it's the best. I mean, I would never have to question anybody but him. You know, I don't have to ask anybody for anything. And if I need like a question with a move or something, I just go to my older brother. Go right downstairs and ask him something. You know, it, I mean, it's the best. It's the best I can possibly ask for. I don't know. So I hope to have you both of you compete in the UFC for titles one day. You know, yeah, it. that's the goal. You know that's it. the goal. You know it. All right, man. Just uh, just wrapping up, Keith. What? What do you, I mean, what's your progression plan? How long are you looking to stay an amateur? When are you looking to go pro, that kind of thing? Um, I'm just playing it by ear right now. I feel like I'm going to just train as hard as I can, train as long as I can, and whatever happens, happens. When it happens, it happens. What, what, my goal for him was, uh, you know, I wanted to get him at the pro level uh, skill-wise, and then we go into that into that amateur phase, crush the amateurs. So by the time we're already in the pros, we're already at UFC level and ready to go in at any moment. So you, you kind know. of serve as like as a his mentor, as, as yeah. yeah, more or less, more or less. You know, I let him do his own thing though. You know, I don't, I don't uh, you know, I don't hold his hand for damn sure. You know, I, I let him do his own thing. If he don't show up, I don't, you know, it's, that's on him. You know, but but you know, he 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 keeps his head on straight and he does things right. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna be here as a guide. I'm not gonna be here to hold his hand. 15, 20 years from now, when you guys are gonna retire, who are we gonna say, man, that guy was awesome. His brother was all right, but that guy. That's was... gonna be me. It's, it's gonna be the little brother is always better than the big brother. It's whatever you think. It's whatever you think. <laughs> all right. Best luck to you, Keith, and uh, best Thank luck you. to you in the octagon. For coming sure. Up. Thank For you, man. Sure.